Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. A thousand people watch my videos now. A thousand. And it's actually a little bit more than a thousand now because ever since I posted the Tri-Strike video, that has gone up to like a thousand and twenty or something like that. There's a lot of people who watch my terrible Nerf reviews, and so I gotta do something for a thousand subscribers. Today we're not going to be reviewing anything conventional. We're not going to be reviewing a blaster or even a piece of technology that has to do with Nerf. Today's video is on Jake, <laughs> this long idiot that inspired Tessera's design. What the heck? So I got him all the way back in 2017 before we moved out here to this house and he is absolutely hilarious. He did actually inspire the design for Tessera in some aspects. A lot of the design for Tessera I made myself, but I probably wouldn't have made her if it wasn't for this him right here. Look at how cute he is. But first, we gotta start off with the design. I gotta say, he looks absolutely hilarious. I think he looks very pretty. He's very shiny in the light in here, and actually the yellow light mixed with the yellowy snake is perfect. He looks very similar to the background. He actually blends very well in with the nerf wall. His belly's the same color as the door, and his back is the same color as the actual wall, and hey, the actual details on his back kind of remind me of the actual blasters on the wall. I have unironically accidentally created a snake themed backdrop if you really look closely and you're kind of drunk. He has this sort of pattern on his back which is very pleasant to look at where it's like brown spots with a middle that's made of caramel. It looks very nice. But onto the ergonomics, he's very comfortable to hold on to. He is very muscly and very very soft. Despite the fact that his scales look like he's kind of pointy and not very nice to hold on to, he is actually very smooth to hold on to and he's got a lot of mass to him. He's actually really heavy considering how small he is. He's not very squeezable. He's actually pretty solid, but he is kind of cuddly. If we move on to the functionality, he really doesn't do anything except he likes to make faces at you. If he sees you from across the room, he is guaranteed to make this face at you. Look at his face. He's seen things, and he's done worse. But he loves to make faces at you, and he also likes to lick the air. I guess the air tastes good. He tastes the air a lot. And that's basically all he does. He's extremely boring, and there really isn't much to him. Onward to the firing demo. Oh, zombie target, you're getting it now. Here he comes. Nope, he, he wants absolutely nothing to do with you. I didn't like it. And you, need to, you need to go and attack the zombie target. Attack the zombie target. He's your enemy. Zombie target is your enemy. Come on, Jake. Don't let me down here. Don't do this to me. Look at his face. He wants nothing to do with this stupid video. Come on, just, 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 there we go. You attack the zombie target. You won. Don't you feel good about yourself? He says, I want to go back to my health now. So overall, what do I think of Jake the Snake? Well, he's, he's very boring and he's also extremely cute. And I'm glad that I have him because if I didn't have him, we probably wouldn't have even made this channel or at least it would be a completely different theme. I love snakes and that's primarily due to how fun he is just to have. He is so adorable and he just likes to make faces at you. There's really nothing to it. He's just, he's cute. This is the boringest review ever, but I want to thank you all for a thousand subscribers because never in a million years did I think that this channel would reach a thousand subscribers ever. I seriously never thought that I was that entertaining to where I would have a thousand subscribers in any capacity. Wow, my side just hurts. That was random. But yeah, a thousand people like to watch my videos and that really means something to me. I can't express how cool that is. It's just so fun. It's actually really enjoyable and it inspires me to make more videos. I've obviously redecorated as you saw in the Cam ECS 12 video and I plan on doing a lot more videos in the future. Now that I can actually make money off of my videos now because I can turn ads on, things are going to get cooler. I can invest in cooler blasters. I can invest in a more professional setup even though I'm actually pretty happy with the setup I have here. And with that said, Jake, is there anything that you would like to say to the viewers? He says absolutely nothing as per usual. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.